And Lifeless Garments is fucking underrated, man. And he's taking some shots at um, Osama sound right now. And I'm not too sure why. I know their sounds are pretty similar. I think there's rumors going around that Osama sound's been biting Lifeless Garments a little bit. Same with Ken Carson. But in the same sense as I remember listening with my homie, we were um, just driving around. He was bumping some music. I literally thought it was King Carson, but it turns out it was actually Lifeless Garbage. So, Lifeless Garbage sounds sounds pretty similar to King Carson, in my opinion. Same with Cardi. And he hasn't been shy to admit that he's a huge Cardi fan and he's inspired by Playboy Cardi. But Lifeless Garbage also claims he's, you know, he's a GOAT. He's the best in the game. Like, just for example, on his most recent Instagram post, he's like, man, I'm a GOAT of this shit. I don't give a fuck about what anyone else say. And yeah, I can't even lie. Life is Garment is pretty fucking hard, man. Like, pretty much all of his projects I've had in my rotation. My favorite song by him right now is definitely Elon Lifestyle. Just the flow he's he did on that was super crazy. Train to Kill that he dropped earlier in 2023 was pretty hard and Train to Kill Deluxe, which is pretty much a different batch of songs, but it's still a deluxe version. So it's still the kind of the same range of things. So I'm really, really hard, like super fire. And those both 14 tracks and I just went super dumb. Train to Kill Deluxe. Elon Lifestyle, definitely my favorite. But let's just check out what he says about um Osama Sun. He says smoking Osama Sun pack. That's some shots right there at Osama Sun. You ain't coming like this about garments then push on. I cleared that nigga. That's what he that's what someone Alright, let's just go back to that. That was way too fucking fast. I hate when I do like the fucking fast stories like that. I've been so someone comments on the story and he's like, nah, this for real, this shit's smoking. And then Lifeless Garment says, you ain't coming like this about garments, then push on. I clear that nigga, hold the stock with one song. And I can't even lie, like, <laughs> Osama sounds cool. Like, his music is all right. Like, he's at two, 200,000 monthly listeners. Axe and Sex goes dumb. Little O goes pretty hard. Like, his... His most recent project, Osama Season, definitely goes hard. But he's been getting a pretty big push by the the underground industry. I think he recently signed. I'm not too sure he signed to. Like, it doesn't show right here where he signed to, but I know he's 100% signed. Um, Osama Sun's personality, I think he's like 18 or 19 or something like that. But, like, he seems like a pretty chill dude. I've been watching a few of his vlogs recently, like, where he went to some jewelry store or whatever. Um, picked out some new new chains and shit like that. I was rocking like a humongous chain. I watched a vlog with Che and um, what's his name? Slum Sixes, where they went on tour, I believe, and performing and shit like that. Super down to earth dude. He was in the studio and shit like that. And then there's Lifeless Garments. I don't know him personally. Like his his music is fire, man. Definitely doesn't have the industry push at all. Very independent. A lot of people don't seem to fuck with him. I guess personality-wise. I think he's like 23, 24. He's been in the game a lot longer. He took a... Um, he had a jail sentence, I believe, like... Three years ago. And recently got out. And then he's just been flooding. Like, he... He's been dropping like crazy and hasn't stopped. He just has a lot of fucking haters. He doesn't have too many industry friends. I think only the only industry friends he has is probably like Ian Connor, uh, Ruling Thrax. Uh, what's the other guy's name? Southside Silhouette. That's about it. And a few other people below him. But the Sama Sun just has the whole industry behind him right now. And, you know, sounds very similar to King Carson. And I think he's probably going to blow up even bigger pretty soon here. And... I don't necessarily see that happening for lifeless garments unless he gets an absolute TikTok smash. But if we're gonna go talent wise and who makes better music, I'd say lifeless garments is definitely quite a bit better. He's more original, more um I don't know, he's a, I think he has like 
he doesn't have a bigger fan base on Osama some, but since he has a lot of haters, it just makes his fan base just fucking way stronger, if you know what I'm saying. Like, he's just, you know, I think he has that superstar um, it factor. But then again, Osama son is quite a bit younger, and lifeless garments may never get to the size of Osama son, like at Osama son's peak. But I don't think lifeless garments will ever stop though. Like lifeless garments, I read one of his um, Instagram stories at one point, and he pretty much said that like, yo, like I don't care if I blow up, whatever, I'm not gonna stop. And just that mentality alone, I'm like, yo, bro. He has that fucking it factor, man. You know what I mean? Like, if you look at some of his stats, he has, a, he has no songs close to 2 million where Soma Son has X and Sex, 2.2 million. And he just had that really big push. Like, it almost seemed like it was, like, industry plant level push. Because I've never heard of this nigga, like, at all. He just, like, got pushed, pushed out there by all the promos and shit like that. But I did see in the vlog, like, he's been grinding for a little bit. And one of the vlogs he read he you he reunited with Underground Sound, which is like a big Instagram like underground rap page and he was doing promos before, like he's he recently just got signed, but I don't know who he signed to. You know what I mean? But if I were to choose between Osama Sun and Lifeless Garments, Lifeless Garments all day.